Welcome back, everyone, um, on this series on working in Photoshop Elements. And today's video, we are going to continue with uh, getting familiar with the different features and effects and uh, filters that you will see on the, the screen on uh, Photoshop Elements. And uh, just to get a little bit familiar with uh, what they do and their functions. And um, it's, you don't have to learn everything all at once. But uh, it's good to kind of have an idea as to what they do and what they're there for and how they can make your, your photos a little bit more interesting and a lot more fun. So let's get started. As you can see, we have brought up the Elements screen. And uh, as an FYI, I am working with an older version of Elements, so your version might be a little different, but it doesn't change that much over the years as they release each new version. We're going to start with the upper left-hand side, the drop-down menus. Now, Perhaps I should have started with those in uh, the first video, but I know that when I first came on to, uh, first started doing Photoshop Elements, the, the most exciting thing and the most interesting thing at that time were the tools on the left-hand side. So that's why I started with those. So today we are going to do, go oh, cover the rest of the features and, um, so, in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to find a drop -down, a bar with a drop-down menu. And it's going to start, the first button is File. And if you click on that, it will bring down the... Um, the different functions that you can use to open a file. And if we click on open, it will bring up your files. And if we go down here, it'll bring up the pictures and then you can pick which picture you want to bring up. So for grins and giggles, we will bring up a couple of pictures. I'm going to click on this cutout that I have. And then I'm going to go down to open. And it will bring up your picture in the layer, in the, um, the bin on the bottom left. And there it is. And I'll bring up another one too. We're going to open another one just, just for grins and giggles. And I had one I had picked out. I think I was going to use this for something else, but I think we'll do this one. And there you have a different picture. And when you click on the picture below, that's what brings it up. You can go back and forth. You can bring up quite a few. So going back up, you can, um, it shows you where you can uh, save your pictures, save your work. Um, place is also another way to bring, uh, to uh, place a picture onto another, onto, onto the top of another, another picture. You've got import, organize. Okay, so we're going to move to the next one. As again, as again, I said, you don't have to learn everything all at once. And we will go over a lot of this as each individual um, project comes up. Under Edit, again, it's um, you can do Undo, Revert, and there's a lot of different... Um, 
different things that you can do. At the very bottom is, uh, is the word preferences. And this will allow you to set each individual um, brush or tool it, uh, in the editing process. And what I have found is particularly important for preferences is if you mess up and you, um, say, picking a brush and your tool all of a sudden doesn't look like it did before, um, you can go to preferences and you can reset it. It means it means stepping out of the uh, the program and uh, closing it out and then re reopening it. But I have found it um, quite quite good for when you screw up a uh, a brush setting and you can't you don't think you can you can fix it. Under image, you will find different ways that you can do your images. So each end, you can um, rotate, for instance. You can rotate a layer, or you can rotate the whole page, or the whole, the whole pile, the whole stack. So for instance, if we want to, let's say, flip this upside down, you would come down and you would hit flip and it will flip your picture upside down. And then if you don't like that, you go back to edit, you go back to undo, and it will correct it. But this is all has to do with each individual um, picture or layer that you're working with. Under resize, you can um, make an image smaller or larger you can you can resize your canvas or just the just the picture and um, just depending on the setting that you you type in and again if you don't like it you could go down you can either use the undo button or you can use the back button Image also allows you to, underneath image also allows you to distort your picture and change the perspective or the, you can distort it, you can kind of curve it. Uh, we will get into that more as we go. Under enhance, now these are all the different things that you can do to a particular picture to change the color change the lighting, change the uh, shadows and, um, and the brightness. Uh, you can remove haze. I found haze removal very, very helpful when I'm working. I'm just editing a photo just to do a basic restoration and the original image, it's too bright or too hazy. I find that haze removal works really well to kind of adjust the colors to a more natural look. But this whole list of uh, drop-down uh, menu is all about changing the color and, and the look of your, your, um, your layer or the image that you're working with. Now if you go across and the next button says layer and this is all where you can add a layer. You can um, arrange the layers so that they're front to back. You can also um, make a solid colored layer or you could use, uh, you could get one that's different colors with a gradient. This is all the, uh, the drop down bar that you would use when you're working with a when you want to add a layer to your 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 stack of uh, your stack of layers. Now select is what you want to do with each individual layer. Um, you can um, select all layers. You can select just a particular layer. And um, this, is, this is what you would use if you're going to do 
um, take one layer and put it on top of another layer, you want to select that layer And the filter is the fun, uh, it's the fun lay, it's the fun drop down because that will allow you to uh, to change your layer or your picture into a different style. And um, so what I'm going to do is just for an example, we'll go down to artistic, and we'll pick uh, colored pencil. And it will allow you, this is a much more um, individualized, uh, customizable um, way to do it than in uh, the right section, which I will show you in a little bit. But it will take your, your layer, your picture or your cutout, and it will change it. And you can change on the right you can uh, change, uh, make individual customized um, differences in the uh, in the picture, and this this is um, why this particular drop down menu is uh, is actually better than the uh, the quick version that you will get that that is on the right hand side which is just a basic uh, quick if you want to make a quick fix and you're not ready to uh, to get more daring and then you click OK you pick your settings and then you click OK and you have a new version of what you did what you used to have and again if you want to uh, revert it it will that will re uh, your little your little um, go back button will will revert it, and there are a bunch of uh, different filters that you can use if you want to use. Um, I'll tell you one that I I use a lot. If I can find it, is uh, is cut out. And again, you can set the um, you can set the uh, the bar on the right to different different settings, and you will get uh, a different look. And uh, you can just by just by changing the bar you can get a different look and then you would click on OK and again it changes your image now the view button will uh, let you do different things uh, different image different ways of looking at your at your canvas and uh, one of the uh, two of the the things that I think are really important are the rulers and it will give you a ruler across the top and down the side and that will help you in your you know if you're trying to size your image or your cutout to a certain size those rulers are uh, are a good good help Another thing is the grid lines, which uh, I don't know how clear they're going to be to see, but uh, it helps you. I, another thing that will help you in sizing and where you want to place things. And then once you're done with them, you go up the top and you click them out. And then under Window, this will allow you to uh, uh, put on your screen different things, um, color swatches, for instance, whatever you choose. If you want to bring up color swatches and have it on your screen, that's the, uh, the drop-down menu that you can, uh, you can click on, and that will uh, 
will put down, uh, put on the screen what you're working with. And it looks like it only does one at a time. I don't use this that often, but I do use it when I'm doing a specific project when I'm going to um, work on different things. Okay, now in this particular version of Elements, I also have a, uh, a line of buttons in the middle, which uh, um, you can do a live, which will bring up a, uh, a different screen. And it gives you an idea of how to do things. And um, I've used this occasionally if I want to uh, see if there's any tips and tricks that uh, they have listed that uh, I think would be interesting. There is also the quick button, which uh, you will notice will bring up on the right. It brings up just a basic... Uh, set of uh, buttons if you want to do just a quick uh, a quick edit and the one that I use a lot is uh, the sharpness if I want to change the sharpness I use that a lot but it also has your color button if you want to change colors your balance button and uh, you can change change different uh, different looks you can you can um, it's kind of fun to play with um, it's really fun to play with The guided button um, will bring up a page that will uh, give you, you can get some instruction on how to do additional things like the photo merge, where you merge um, several photos into one long panorama, or how to straighten um, uh, a landscape. Then the expert button is the button that I work with all the time. And we are changing it back. <laughs> um, the expert button is the one that I use all the time. Now, on the bottom, again, perhaps I should have done this on the, the, the first video, but Again, when I'm I'm going by how how I did things when I first came into Photoshop, and uh, again the tools were the most most uh, interesting things to learn. Maybe it's because of the icons. I don't know. Um, you will see uh, a bar with all the pictures that you have open. Now this bar will list will uh, list all the pictures that you have that are open that you can work with. The bar on the bottom is uh, a particularly useful bar, and um, you can uh, change back and forth, and you can hide the bar with all your photos. And uh, you can go back and forth. It also has the tool options. <clears throat> and this is where you will do all your settings for, let's say you take your, let's say you hit your eraser button. And uh, your tool options bar will uh, allow you to adjust size. You can make the, uh, the eraser smaller. 
or if you uh, make it, you can make it bigger. You can also set the opacity. So if you want, um, if you don't want to hide it completely, you can uh, set your opacity to uh, whatever level, and it will only take a certain amount out. If you want it gone completely, you set it to 100%. It's also where you can uh, change the shape of your brush. If you want to, um, let's try this one because this one's interesting. And we will go down here to a dog print. Let's do a dog print. And we will change the size. We have it on 100%. And we are going to, ah, it's a little too big. <laughs> I want you to be able to see it. There we go. And there is the dog print. And it erases, erases the size. What you will be working with most of the time is your default buttons, but it's uh, interesting to play with that because it uh, it has a bunch of different shapes. There's, there's a lot of different things that you can choose from. It also has, um, if you need, for instance, to uh, change the, uh, let's do this. We will go down here to uh, this is your settings for what your br where your brush is going to be um, so if we we do it that way it takes out your it erases your uh, picture in one way if you decide to change the uh, you can down here you can and it will change the way that your cutout is is going to look. You can also adjust a lot of different. Uh, you can adjust how 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 far separate your cutouts are going to be. Um, if they're going to fade, if they're you know, if they're going to um, be scattered. So there's a lot of different options, and it's again, it's fun to play with when you, you know, when you get in the mood to play with, play with things. Now, dealing with the drop-down menu on the right-hand side of your screen you will see uh, for this purpose as we are we do have the layer button open which is down at the bottom on the right and if you click it off it takes away your layers but if you're working in layers this is kind of important because you need to see what um, each layer is and um, up here you can uh, Add and subtract layers. So uh, let's go ahead and just for the general purposes of doing this, let's um, open the uh, open another layer. So we're going to select all, edit, copy, and then we're going to click on our background layer, which in this case is a black, and then we're going to go edit paste and our um, we now have two layers with the leaf layer on top of the black and um, if we add another layer 
we can go here to the, the flower. Again, this is just to show you how it's done. Select all, edit, copy, and then we go to your background layer, edit, paste, and you now have three layers. And like I said in the first video, um, there are many ways to do several different things if you uh, want to accomplish. And in this uh, layer bin, you can um, also change the layer, the order of the layers, arrange the layers like we, we went over in the first video. Or you can revert it to the way that it was. Now, the little icons on the top are also very important. The, uh, the first one you'll come to will add a, uh, a transparent background, which, is, which we will be using a lot of. These other buttons will also add different kinds of layers. Beneath the uh, icons for layers, you'll find a bar that normally says normal. And uh, that just means that your layers are as they would appear. The drop down menu um, will uh, give you different effects as to the way that the layers interact with each other. And um, so let's just hit, just for grins and giggles, let's hit dissolve, and it will change the way your your layer, the layer that you're working with, it will change the way it interacts with the, uh, the layers that are underneath it. And you can, you can do this with any layer that you click on. You can change the way that it, um, it interacts. Let's try another one. Overlay will do, I use overlay a lot when I'm creating layers for backgrounds. And then we'll click backward and we'll just try another one. And that is uh, diffidence. And it just changes the look of the layer that you are uh, working with without totally getting rid of the layers in back of it. Opacity, which is next to it, will also um, is a way to set the opacity of the layer that you're working on. You can make it almost disappear. You can make it a shadow of what, um, what it would be normally or you can leave it at the strength that it's 100%. We, we use that, I use that a lot in some of my designs. Now at the bottom on the right are um, some interesting buttons. And again, going back to the layer button, this uh, just makes the layer, the layer stack visible. You don't need to use it, if you're working on a single photo, but it really is helpful when you're working on a stack of photos and you can make it disappear. Now the effects button, which is next to it, and if you, it brings up um, different effects you can do with uh, the layer that you're working on and you can change it. Let's click out make this simple. In this case I want to make the image 
a little bigger so we can see the effects of what we are doing it doing in, uh, in with the filters I'm going up to the um, icons on the left and uh, I'm going to hit the move tool and this will uh, make the picture bigger you will see that there it has now got an outline around it with some dots hit on one of the dots and pull sideways and that will make your picture bigger and then click the check mark and now you have enlarged your picture so now we're going to check out the effects button and uh, if we go down here to show all you get uh, across the top it now has effects filters and styles and uh, in the drop down menu there are a ton of different things you can do with the, your image many of which you will also find in your under your filter drop down on the left where you can actually fine tune what you're doing the uh, drop down menu on the right the uh, the little icons this is really basically just a quick fix there's no really fine tuning to it as much as you can do under the filter so we will pick a um, something that's pretty pretty visible and we're gonna click on pencil sketch and you can either double click it and it will do it or you can drag and drop and pull it over to the top and it will do the same thing you could try a tiptic version and drag it over and it will change your vision some of these um, filters are not available under the filter drop down on the left top left um, so it pays to check out both and uh, it's a good way to spend a rainy afternoon when you've got nothing better to do and you just want to see what you can do with a uh, a picture. This is stamp and this is pretty interesting. It takes a little bit to render. bear with it and uh, it's actually pretty interesting it's a pretty interesting uh, filter under effects if you go up to the top and you hit effects and you can hit um, show all and uh, this is just another different bunch of uh, effects that you can do with uh, with your your photo there, let's see let's find a an interesting one let's find one that um, emboss let's do emboss and that you know you will find that some effects are are not as um, appealing as others not every photo can do what uh, what you expect of it you'll find that not every picture is suitable for every effect and um, that's a good example the emboss is a good example of uh, on this particular photo of what really doesn't work so you just try something else and uh, you can usually find something that will be interesting and um, that's more like a graphic pen that's glowing edges 
but it, like I said, it's a fun thing to do if you uh, just have a little time and you want to play with different things. Styles is uh, another set of uh, icons that you can do with like background layers or um, or different uh, different ways to treat a photo. Again, they don't all work with every photo that you're doing or everything that you're trying to accomplish. So if we go back down to the bottom, let's click back to effects. Let's go back down to the bottom right and you'll find graphics. And uh, in this particular version of Elements, we have quite a lot of different graphics that you can choose. And what this is good for is for like a background. Think in the terms of scrapbooking. You have a background that you can set another photo onto. And um, let me see what's in my bin. Okay. So let's do So to give you an example of what um, graphics can do, we're going to go up and we're going to, uh, again, pull up a background layer. We're going to go to layers and then um, what I want to do is uh, put my uh, terillium on top, select all, edit, copy, edit, paste, and I'm going to make this a little smaller. So you do the same thing in reverse and you just drag, hit a corner and drag. So if we go back to graphics. Let's pull up graphics again. Click on OK. And then we're going to go to layers and we're going to click on the background layer because this is the layer that we want to add the uh, graphics to. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick just something that'll show a good contrast. And you will change the background. You don't like that one. You can scroll down and change it. And uh, there are ways to do your own graphics, and uh, we will get into that in another, another lesson. But um, this is a quick and easy way to, uh, to have your own without having your own um, library of graphics. But they're actually quite easy to make if you, um, with, your, with your camera, taking pictures or or creating something in Photoshop as a background that you would keep in your art components file. The next button is your favorites button. And then the next button is more. You can uh, make changes, make additional changes. Let's go back to layers and uh, we will delete this layer 
and you are back with uh, just your cutout. And uh, again, I, I uh, repeat myself that you don't have to learn it all at once. You can take it slowly and work with uh, just a few little features and um, just learn from there. And once you master a certain, certain set of things, you can move on to more advanced um, more advanced uh, effects and filters. And um, I think that's it for today. And then uh, in the next lesson, we will get into some actu actually working with photos. And um, that, should be st that should start to be fun. So as you see, we have cleared everything except for the original cutout. And um, when you uh, click out, it will ask you if you want to save any of the changes that you've made. Yes, no, cancel. Cancel will just keep you on the page. Uh, in this case, no, I am not saving anything. And uh, I think for today that that should be it. Well... I hope you found that interesting and you learned something. So at this time, I'd like to say thank you to all my viewers. And I really appreciate all of you. Uh, if you feel so inclined, say hello. If you have uh, different tricks and tips that you'd like to offer, we would surely, surely, um, they'd be welcome. And uh, again, um, until next time, let's get creative.